welcome to the 11th lecture of electric power systems here we are going to discuss the bundle conductors in transmission line so what are bundle conductors generally in transmission line instead of using a single conductor we will use multiple conductor per phase so any phase can have multiple conductors than using a single conductors then there is a metallic structure which is known as spacers the spacers are the metallic structure that will group the conductors per phase so any phase can have more number of conductors two or three and they will be grouped using a spacers what are the role of spacers then what are the role and advantages of spacers so it will maintain a constant distance between the conductors throughout the length second it will avoid the clashing of conductor among themselves and third it will connect them in parallel so these are basically the role of a spacer so spacers will maintain a constant distance between the conductors so when other conductors are grouped it will maintain a constant distance it will avoid the clashing of the conductor between themselves and they will maintain in parallel each phase can have two three or four conductors so generally we can have two three or four conductors in a group or a phase so each conductor joined by the spacer belong to the same phase so whenever you will have a spacer it will connect all the conductor that are belonging to the same phase now if you have three such group then it will form a single circuit transmission line if you form six such group then it is a double circuit transmission line so there can be a single circuit transmission line or double circuit transmission line depending upon how many conductors are there that are forming a group if three conductors are forming a group it will be a single circuit transmission line if six conductors are forming a group then it will be a double circuit transmission line so here let us see the picture of a bundle conductor and the spacer so here we can see that there is a spacer here we can see that there is a spacer which connect so these are spacers so spacers can have any configuration of any shape they are metallic structure so spacers are basically the metallic structure which connect the conductors in a group so they are basically metallic structure so here you can see that one two three and four conductors are there which are connected by this spacer here two conductors are connected by spacer here you have three conductors which are connected with spacer and they can have different horizontal or vertical configuration so this is the bundle conductors with spacers similarly you can have a single circuit transmission line or a double circuit transmission line that are connected with the help of bundle conductors so if you have three conductors in a group then it is known as single conductor single circuit transmission line so here you can see that there are three circuit uh, three uh, conductors in a group so it is basically known as single circuit transmission line now here you can see that if there are more conductors which is six circuit uh, conductors in a group then it is known as double circuit transmission line so here you can see that spacers are there which are basically connecting all the conductors in a particular phase together and then it maintains a constant distance between them which are running in parallel so we will calculate the inductance of a bundle conductors and see what are the advantages of bundle conductors in terms of inductance and capacitance so whenever you have some extra high voltage line those lines which are having a voltage to 30 kV and above are known as EHV line. So extra high voltage lines are those lines where voltage are greater than 230 kV. So generally the two problems that you have are the corona loss and interference with the communication circuit. So whenever you have any EHV line, EHV line which is 230 kV and above then there will be corona loss a heavy amount of corona loss and interference with the communication circuit because the lines are power circuit so these lines will generally have interference with the communication circuit will be excessive if there are one conductor per phase 
if there is one conductor per phase then these losses will be more therefore we are using an arrangement of bundle conductor bundle conductor as we have discussed two or more conductors will be kept in close proximity compared with the spacing between the phases so it means the distance between the transmission lines are close then we will be having two or more conductors generally we can have two three or four conductors in a group to form a phase and this will reduce the high voltage gradient at the conductor so here you can see that one of the bundle arrangement that is being shown so here you can see there are four cores so core number one core number two core number three and core number four so there are four cores and there is a insulation which is made up of xlp insulation so xlp insulations are there now we have generally these configurations can be there so it, it can have two conductors in a group it can have three conductors in a group or it can have four conductors in a group small d is the distance between the conductor and r is the radius of the conductor then we have seen that bundle conductors can have two three or four conductors in a group and it will reduce the reactance it will reduce the reactance of the transmission line which is a big advantage of bundling it means the reactance of the transmission line xl xl equal to omega l so reactance of the transmission line will decrease reactance will decrease it means the net inductance in the transmission line is decreased now why this inductance is decreasing that we are going to discuss well, then we are going to discuss that why the inductance of a transmission line decrease when we use bundle conductors and what are the advantages if we reduce the inductance of the transmission line so if we know that inductance formula from the previous discussion is 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 and ln of gmd by gmr so if we re in reduce the inductance it means you will be having gmr more than only your inductance can reduce okay or the self gmd has to be decreased so this we will going to decrease so if we result in the increased gmr so if your gmr is increasing if your GMR is increasing, that is geometric mean radius. Geometric mean radius, if it is increasing, then the inductance will decrease. The other name of geometric mean radius is known as the self GMD, that is geometric mean distance. Self GMD. Okay. So let us calculate for two, three, and four bundle conductors arrangement. So if you have a two conductor bundle arrangement then the distance between them is d and the diameter or the radius between them is r okay then in that case if you have two conductor in a group two conductor in a group then the gmr calculation will be because there will be total four arrangements so four into ds into d so ds basically means r dash which is equal to 0 0.7788 into the radius okay and d is the distance between them so basically if you have the fourth root so here will be um, fourth root you have then now here will be 2 is there so you will have the square root of that okay now if you have the cubic array, uh, three conductors in a group three conductors in a group are there then it will be arranged in the fashion so in this fashion the gmr of the conductor the gmr of the conductor will be ds d square of the cube root okay if you have four conductor in a group if you have four conductor in a group then your arrangement is telling 1.09 fourth root of ds into d cube so these are two conductors, three conductors and four current conductors which are generally form the bundle conductors. So here we can see that the GMR, geometric mean radius of the conductor are increasing. Geometric mean radius of the conductor are increasing if we are using more conductor 
in a group compared to single conductor. Then we can understand that the L is inversely proportional to GMR. So if the GMR is increasing, obviously its inductance will decrease. Sorry, if the GMR is in, uh, yes, GMR is increasing, the inductance will decrease. Okay. Then uh, we increase the number of conductor in the GMR increases and hence L increases. So as the number of conductor in a group increases, obviously its GMR will increase and the inductance will decrease. Now why we want to decrease the inductance and what benefit we are going to get that let us see. So what are the advantages of reducing the inductance of the transmission line? Generally the power formula of transferring capability of a line is given by Vs into Vr divided by Xl into sine delta. So Vs is basically the sending and voltage of the transmission line and Vr is the receiving end of the transmission line. So if you have a transmission line, there will be Vs that is sending and voltage and Vr is the receiving and voltage and Xl that is the uh, inductive reactance of the line and sine delta is nothing but the power angle or the power angle, <coughs> load angle. So here uh, in we have seen that L is decreased when you have the bundle conductors. So XL that is the inductive reactance of the line is equal to omega L. So if you are decreasing the inductive reactance obviously you are decreasing the uh, if you are decreasing the inductance obviously you are in decreasing the inductive reactance. So if inductive reactance is decreasing obviously the power transfer capability of the transmission line is increasing. So this is the one big advantage of using the bundle conductors where we re reduce the inductance of the line. Now if we reduce the inductance of the line it means the XL is reducing. If XL is reducing the voltage drop which is associated with XL that is I into XL will also drop. If the voltage drop of the transmission line due to the inductance decreases, obviously the voltage regulation will improve and the transmission efficiency will be better. So voltage regulation will be improved. So these are the advantages of reducing the inductance of the line. Now overall we will conclude to discuss the main advantages of using the bundle conductor. So bundle conductors are primarily employed to reduce the corona loss and radio interference in the circuit. These are the prime purpose for which the bundle conductors are used. We have to reduce the corona loss. So in detail we are going to see the what is corona loss in one of the uh, chapter. So one of the lecture will dis discuss in detail on corona loss. For the time being you understand that uh, when uh, bundle conductors are used then it reduces the corona loss and the radio interference and there are several other advantages. So uh, on this advantage we can say that the coronal loss is basically due to the voltage gradient in the vicinity of the line. So when you have a transmission line which is surrounding by air and the voltage gradient of this line is reducing it means there is no possibility of corona discharge of this transmission line. So transmission efficiency will increase because the loss associated with the transmission line is reducing. So if the loss associated with transmission line reduces, obviously its efficiency will increase. Now we all we will also see that if you are using a bundle conductor, it will have a higher capacitance. So that thing we will do when we uh, read more on capacitance. So for the time being you understand that bundle conductor will increase the capacitance of the line to neutral that is a phase uh, conductor we are talking about and uh, here if the capacitance is increasing the charging current will increase. So the charging current will increase if there is a increase in capacitance and the capacitance is increasing because you are using a bundle conductor. So bundle conductor will reduce the inductance but it will increase the capacitance. So capacitance if it is increasing the charging current will increase. Charging current 
if it is in, increased then it will improve the power factor of the line so if a power factor of the line is lagging in nature lagging in nature then if you are using a bundle conductor since it is giving more charging current its power factor will improve now we have reduced the inductance and we have increased the capacitance using the bundle conductors and there is a term known as surge impedance loading so that is given by surge impedance surge impedance is under root l by c which we are going to discuss more into detail later on so surge impedance is equal to under root l by c now if we reduce the l and increase the capacitance the surge impedance of the line will increase because the surge impedance is increasing so higher surge impedance loading it means the maximum power transfer capability of the line will increase maximum power transfer capability of the line will increase now we have seen that the gmr that is the geometric mean radius of the conductor has increased in order to decrease the inductance right so obviously we have seen that xl per phase of the line will reduce per phase of the line will reduce as compared to the single conductor when we are using the bundle conductors then the drop associated with the line will reduce and transmission efficiency will improve so the current carrying capability of a line which is known as ampacity ampacity is the term known as current capacity carrying capacity and for the bundle conductor it is much more increase in comparison to single large conductor owing to reduced skin effect so one more advantage of bundle conductor is that it will reduce the skin effect because instead of using a thick single conductor you are using too many conductors which are connected with a spacer so the current carrying capacity of the line will be increased because the skin effect is reduced also since the effective surface area exposed to air is more now so when you are using a bundle conductor the effective surface area of the conductor is more and it is better and efficient cooling will give so if the effective surface area is more the cooling will be better hence better performance will be given compared to single conductor because in transmission line there will be i square r loss this i square r loss will result in heating of the transmission line so if the transmission line is heated up and there is no enough space then the cooling will not be better but in bundle conductors this heat will be released better because you have more effective area that is why bundle conductors are better compared to single conductor so we have discussed the advantages of bundle conductors in terms of calculating of the inductance and when we discuss the capacitance of a transmission line there we will discuss this in more detail like how the capacitance of a transmission line for the bundle conductors are obtained thank you for now